Okay, this video tutorial looks at the mathematical strand of polynomials and more specifically, we're gonna focus our understanding on the factor theorem. Okay, so what is the factor theorem? Well, the factor theorem is just a quick way of determining whether or not a linear expression is a factor of a polynomial. So basically, we take our function, all right, our p of x, so our function of x, we replace the x and now we have a function of k, so we replace all the x values with a k value, and the k value is given to us from our linear expression here, right? And if this equals zero, then yes, the linear uh, expression is a factor. If the p of k does not equal zero, then no. And we've got a couple of examples here to show you. Basically, um, I'll use the example and talk you through what's going on. In example A, all right, where we've just put a blue asterisk, we've got, instead of x take k, we've actually got x take two. All right, so that means our k value is gonna be two. So the p of two, all right, for this expression. And that's what's happening here. So we've replaced x with two, we've evaluated it, and we've got an answer of zero. So in this particular case, p of two equals zero, so therefore, yes, the linear expression of x take two is a factor of our original polynomial, okay? Um, in our second example, we've got um, a plus three here. So instead of our x take k, so k is now gonna be negative three, which we can see here. So this is p of negative three. We've substituted negative 3 in for the x's, and we have a remainder of 4. So therefore, p of minus 3 equals 4. It does not equal 0, so therefore no. Um, x plus 3 is not a factor of our original function, which is up here. All right, so essentially you replace the variable with our k value. If your answer in the end is zero, then the linear expression is a factor. If your answer is not zero, then the linear expression is not a factor. Okay, so sometimes you might get an example question where you have a second variable in, but it tells you the factor. Okay, if it tells you the factor, then you know your k value. All right, in this particular instance, we have a k value here. So this is x take k, which means that our k value would actually be the negative of plus two, all right, so minus two, and then we simply replace our x in our um, polynomial with minus two, and we evaluate that, and eventually, you'll see we collect some like terms here, we simplify, and then we solve the expression, or the equation. Okay, so here are some practice questions I'd like you to have a go at. Um, one of them is basically determining um, if a linear expression is a factor, and the other one is finding a variable given a factor. Please feel free to pause the video. Uh, once you think you've got the answers, continue the video, and we'll see how you went. Okay, so let's see how you went. So in our first example, we've got, this is our x take k, all right? So therefore, our k value is gonna be minus two. This would become, three lots of minus two cubed plus five lots of minus two squared take six lots of minus two take eight. Now three lots of minus two is minus eight. So this becomes minus 24 plus 20 plus 12 take eight, which actually equals zero. So yes, x plus 2 is a factor of 3x cubed plus 5x squared take 6x take 8. And we know this because when I replace um, all of my x values with minus 2, uh, we get 0. The second question says find b given that x plus 2 is a factor of. So we know that our k value here is again minus two, just coincidental. We then replace 
everything here with minus two. Um, and that's what I'm just doing right now. We evaluate everything minus two to the power of six is minus, uh, sorry, is positive 64. Then I've got plus minus 32b, so let's write, rewrite that, minus 32b. I've got plus negative two to the power of three is negative eight, so this becomes plus 16. Then I've got uh, plus 10, plus six. So we collect all those like terms, we've got 64, take 32b, basically plus 32. Um, oh, this all has to equal zero, sorry. So it all equals zero because we know the factor, uh, it's uh, given us a factor, equals zero. So this would be negative 32b is actually going to equal, once I collect all the like terms and move it across, is negative 96, so then b is going to be 3.